Hey guys, so today I have a little bit of a different video and it is still a candle review, but it is a throwback review of Marshmallow Musk. And the reason I'm actually reviewing this right now is because I believe this is actually coming out for spring 2023, which I'm super excited about. And so in the later phases of the spring releases, I think maybe in spring too, uh, there's a candle called Vanilla Musk coming out and the notes on that read whipped vanilla soft cedarwood and suede musk. Uh, but then if you read the notes on the Marshmallow Musk room spray that it is currently available on the website, it also says whipped vanilla soft sandalwood in suede musk. So the notes on those are very, very similar that I started thinking that maybe these are the same fragrances. So of course I put my ILN uh, product ingredients database theory to the test to see if I could find matching ILN numbers on any of the marshmallow musk and vanilla musk products. And sure enough, the Marshmallow Musk Room Spray and the Vanilla in Musk Room Spray that's, I guess, supposed to come out later in the season have a matching ILL number that have the ending digits of 64533 on both of them. So considering the notes are very, very similar and the fact that ILNs match on both room sprays, I think that might be safe to assume that possibly... Marshmallow Musk is indeed coming out for spring 2023 under the uh, like neutrals collection as the vanilla in musk candle, which is indeed getting a three wick candle. So I'm super stoked about that because uh, as you know, I did buy the room spray just to kind of like vote with my wallet that I really enjoy the fragrance and the room spray for Marshmallow Musk does smell just like this candle that we have right here. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the premise for this video. And without further ado, let me review this candle and then we can kind of compare and contrast to how it the vanilla musk one will do once we get our hands on that. So the notes on the 2018 version of this one say creamy vanilla musk, fluffy marshmallow, and golden amber. And oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works fragrances. I bought like four or five of them when they first came out. And I've been kind of like cherishing and holding on to the two backups that I have left in my collection. But now I can kind of like burn this one now that Hopefully, Vanilla Musk will be a repackage of this fragrance. But in any case, what does this smell like? Oh my gosh, it's like the most beautiful, like fluffy, sophisticated, powdery cloud of like a marshmallow vanilla goodness that you've ever experienced. It really smells like a more mature, sophisticated version of like a marshmallow fine fragrance. Fragrance is what you get from it. There's definitely like a floral, mature sophistication paired with a creamy, beautiful marshmallow fragrance. The fragrance just perfectly captures that like velvety, powdery texture that you get from a marshmallow just just absolutely exquisitely. And I think Josh touched the fire twice on my live was saying how that might be attributed to the heliotrope fragrance that it does not list in the notes but could potentially be in here. And I think that totally makes sense because I think heliotrope is also in the warm vanilla sugar fragrance from Bath & Body Works, which is also like dreamy summer nights or whatever from Yankee Candle also lists heliotrope, which is a dupe for warm vanilla sugar. And if you look up what heliotrope is supposed to smell like, it says like a floral vanilla fragrance that gives like any fragrance like a powder puff like powdery uh, cloud-like texture to it and it's most certainly what this fragrance captures so uh, there most certainly could be heliotrope in this and they just don't mention it but yeah it's like this floral vanilla marshmallow vanilla fragrance that's just absolutely exquisite i mean the room spray is out so you can try that if you want to know what this fragrance smells like uh but i don't know i just love it it's just just the best interpretation of like this beautiful sophisticated powdery uh marshmallow vanilla fragrance that i've ever experienced and i really enjoy it so that's pretty much what it smells like it's pretty straightforward. I would say warm vanilla sugar is like the next closest thing to this. Uh, but yeah, I think this is just one of the best like actual like marshmallow fragrances. And it's kind of sad that the new marketing of vanilla must kind of take the intrigue away from the like marshmallow name and marketing. But I guess it's in a neutrals collection. So they want to be a little bit more universal with it instead of calling it marshmallow. So that's pretty much what this fragrance smells like. And let me go into the performance. This is a third burn. Oh my God, this candle soots like crazy. Every single one I've ever had has been like sooting like crazy. Uh, like sometimes I'll like have it trimmed and think it's fine and I'll go to burn it and it'll be sooting like crazy. Or you'll get to like the third hour burn as you see here and it makes massive mushroom tops and it soots like crazy. But of course we don't know what the new vanilla musk version uh, will perform like, but that's kind of how this one performs. So it is what it is. As for the throw, it's like, one of those like light but strong fragrances the fragrance itself is not a super strong heavy fragrance uh so it throws but it's not heavy and like just choke you out like some other heavier bakery fragrances so it's kind of like 
I would say maybe like a five or a six range, but it still like permeates the room nicely. It's kind of hard to describe, but I would say like in the medium to medium plus is what this is. Sometimes I wish it was stronger and a little bit more punch you in your face, but other times I'd like walk in and I can still smell it adequately, but just like at a lower level. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much the performance on this. Overall, if you haven't checked out the room spray, definitely check that out if there's a room spray uh, sale and it's available in your store still. And then we're totally going to keep tabs on the Vanilla Musk whenever that comes out for spring too. And I'm so excited about that. And hopefully it will indeed be the same fragrance considering the ILN and the notes are very, very similar between the two fragrances. Uh, so can't wait for that, but just wanted to spotlight this fragrance since I was really excited to see that this could indeed possibly be coming out again for the spring. So thanks so much. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance or if you're excited to try the new potentially repackaged vanilla musk fragrance that's coming out later. I'll leave them in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.